For almost two years, the world has been struggling to deal with the coronavirus, first with lockdowns, masks and social distancing, and then for much of this year with vaccines to the fore. Now in Berlin, many of the world's top scientists, medics and ministers are working through what they see as the next big challenges, debating what new measures to take against a virus with the continuing ability to mutate into more dangerous forms. We know that no vaccine is going to be 100% effective against infection, even after booster. So you still have to take the other precautions, like wearing of the mask, maintaining a distance, till the viral transmission around the world has gone down to the level that we feel comfortable. And so it's really very important for people, whether they've received two doses of the vaccine or the third dose, to not feel that they are 100% protected because they can still get infected and they can infect others as well. But in order to have a booster shot, the patient must first have been vaccinated. And some surveys suggest there is an increasing gap in availability between developed and developing countries, with campaigners describing this as vaccine inequity. Far more people in Europe and North America have access to vaccines compared to those in Africa. Governments made promises to share vaccines, but only very little of that has actually been shared. So there's a lot of promises on the table for by the end of the year. Some of the promises were made in the middle of this year. That is just way too slow. People are dying in these six months that we're waiting for promises to be fulfilled. Some of those promises were made by the EU and its member states. Here in the German capital, the government has faced some criticism for the speed of its aid response. Ministers say they plan to give at least 100 million doses of vaccine to the needy countries. Part of a wider EU response of around 500 million doses that are being made available but that still leaves potentially billions of people waiting for a vaccine, uncertain of how or when it might come, and vulnerable to the virus while they wait. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Berlin.